How is it going guys? It's Chucky from Mad Bio Reptiles and today we're going to talk about mice and if you should feed your snake live mice. So before we even start with the topic, I want to say that I'm sorry about the collaboration video. It's taking a little bit long but the edits have been messing up. Uh, the audio has been messing up so I'm trying to find ways to keep the audio intact without messing anything up but there's a lot of you guys already in the edit so that's good of course and I will put a list of the people that I have the videos of on Instagram you have to check and see if you're there so let's keep going with the mice video so let me tell you guys a little story that happened to me literally yesterday night pretty much so I had a female mice and she was bigger than normal and I already knew something was weird about her and uh, she had her litter uh, days before she was supposed to. She was supposed to have it like a week from now. She had them last night. They, of course, were premature. And she had 20 babies. 20 is a big number for a mouse. That is not a normal number. That happens rarely. The biggest number, I think, it was 23. Since they were premature, they lasted a couple of hours. And a lot of them started dying. There's a couple that are still alive. There's like about 11 that are still alive. And hopefully they make it to be this size. Like this baby. So this right here is Fluffy. Uh, his mom was black and brown. She's drinking water right now. Um, and his dad was an albino. And these started coming out even lighter. Which is what I'm going to breed for. Uh, of course, his brothers and sisters. Some of them become food. And that's what we're going to talk about. About how bad that is because it's sad because it is sad i get it but let's let's just go little by little all right so this is fluffy's auntie let's say that she's one of the females that had babies this is not the one that had the 20. um i will not take her out because she might be stressed right now let's get talking about how sad that is and how they suffer and all that so the world consists of energy and Animals and living organisms consist of exchange of energy. So the sun gives energy to the plants, animals get it from the plants, and other animals get it from other animals. And as we die, we release it back into this earth, pretty much. And I believe that eating other animals is part of it, is part of the exchange of energy. Is it sad that a living organism has to die for the other one to survive? It is very sad and if it wasn't like that then it would have been a better place but guess what it is that this is the place we live in like things eat other things things die things kill each other people kill everything and that's just what it is you know that's we can't change that I can't turn my snake into a vegan because it would freaking die and I'm not a vegan I eat my meat myself and it's just something we do you know it's I get it if you don't like it I get it I get it if it makes you sad it makes you cry I get it I get it I get it but it has to happen some other people say why don't you feed frozen thought at the end of the day you're still killing the mouse at the end of the day the mouse still dies. you don't know how it dies they might tell you that it was in a co2 tank thinking me jigger and that's how they killed it but at the end of the day you don't know if they actually knocked it out or froze it alive and a lot of things could happen that you don't know behind doors so what's the difference now i understand health wise feeding frozen thawed is a better way for the snake not to get bit back or anything like that but if you're feeding live you can take care of that you have to know that the mouse might bite back and what would you do if it tries to so i'm always there to you know help the snake and make it as fast as possible for the mouse you know it's 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 a sad thing right now this one right here is a, it's a pet she's a breeder I would never feed her to any of my snakes and you might say what's the difference between her and other mouse why does she get to live she gets to live because I love animals in general and I wish I didn't have to kill so many of them I wish I didn't I really do but it is it is part of the world and some people say that you might not be an animal lover if you like to see another animal die but i don't like to see an a another animal die it's just that that's how the world is this is where we live in you have you have to get used to it this is the world we live in like outside millions of animals die millions of people die every day it's like it's natural to die it's natural to feel pain it's natural it's it's just part of life there is there is nothing 
that will lead us to like world peace or any of that like that's not to me that's impossible to reach like maybe we won't have wars but there's people in the street fighting killing each other and that will always happen that will never out of our genetics because it's in all genetics is in animal genetics is in everything pretty much okay now this is uh fluffy's mother you see how she's black on top and then the bottom part is the color of their babies so let's keep going the life of this animal is no less than the life of one of my snakes is no less his life or her life is no less than my life they are all living organisms and deep like deep if you were to zoom in into my hand there's just cells there's living cells that's the smallest life form in the world a cell deep in his little paw Let's see if you guys can see his little her little paw there's living cells just like mine that have organelles and have different functions for her and have different functions for me at the end of the day that's all we are we are a bunch of living cells she has a brain she has eyes she has ears just like i do she feels she feels fear she's shaking i shake it's it's all so normal so so alike that her life equals mine at the end of the day. And I'm not saying that we should start feeding people the snake, but I'm saying like, they're all living organisms at the end of the day. And it's sad that our world is the way it is, that we have to kill other living organisms to have a balance pretty much. But it's the world's way, you know? It's, it's, it's how it is. And it's just crazy to me because these animals are really smart animals. They, they're super smart. You can actually train a rat and, you know, they, they come to you like if they were a dog. Like dogs are not the only smart animal in the world. There's so many. This is way smarter than a snake, of course, but the snake ends up eating it even though it's smarter. It's, at the end of the day, that's the way life works and I have come to accept it. Hope you like this video hope i didn't hurt nobody's feelings and if i did i understand i understand everyone's point of view you know i get it but this is just my point of view and i hope you guys get it thanks for watching